Now that we've successfully extended realm object and wrote a instance of our person realm object to our device local storage, let's explore displaying all of our realm objects inside a Xamarin Forms list view. So if we take a look at our people list view model, we'll see that we have an observable collection called people. In our people page XAML, we're going to bind to this observable collection through our item source property on our list view. Next, we're going to set up our data template for our list view. And here, I'm just going to use a simple text cell. And I'm going to bind its text to our first name for now. I'm going to instantiate the people observable collection. And I'm going to do this by wrapping our results from our DB service with an observable collection. If we go into our Realm DB service, we'll see that the get people method is not implemented. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to get our Realm instance, and I'm going to ask for all persons. And then I'm going to use link to convert this to a list. And I want to remember to return it. Now if we run our application, let's see what happens. Now we'll see that we're listing the two instances that I've created over the course of development of this application. If I enter in a new person and hit create and come back, we'll see that we don't see our new person. And that's because we need to refresh our observable collection of people. So to do this, I'm going to move our instantiation of the people observable collection into its own method called init, which is short for initialization. And I want to make this public. And now if I go into my people page code behind, I can reference this initialization function via our onAppearing method like so. And here I'm going to make sure our binding context is not null. And in this case, our binding context is our people list view model. I'm going to cast our binding context. And then I'm going to call the initialization function like so. And I'm going to run our application. So we can see the previous record that we just entered. If I hit add, and then I type on a new name, like my brother, hit create, and then go back we'll see Zach now appears in our list view. One of the last things that we want to do is update our list view to actually show something other than the first name. So I'm gonna recreate this real simple getter for full name. And I'm gonna use string format where I'm gonna pass in two entities to format, first name and last name. And then I'm going to update our binding. And now when I run an application, we should now see full names in our list view. So as you can see, it's really easy to use Realm Xamarin to retrieve any sort of records, or in this case, Realm objects that we have written to our device's local storage.